What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube, you know who it is. It's your boy, the Moose. Moose Squad, let's kick it. All right, all right, so Moose Squad, let's check this out, man. So I got this this deal going on, what's happened. And um, there's a lot of things and formalities that, that had to happen for me to do this. I'm going to share with you this real quick, and then we'll get into the video. What happened was, is I had to go into my laptop and I had to peel it like an onion. I had to delete all those videos and everything else. Once I did all that, I took all my, I took all my songs. I put them into one area where they belong back on the hard drive because they were separate. They were all over. The music was everywhere. So what I did was I went through every single folder, every single crate on my laptop, and I put it back on the hard drive. As soon as I got all the files transferred, everything set up and everything else, I went and I optimized my hard drives. When I optimized my hard drives, it put everything back into uh, where it belongs. Because, you know... You get software and you put it on your hard drive. Well, it doesn't put it together. It spreads it out and puts it everywhere because that's what it does. That's what they do. So optimization, what happens is it, it takes all the files of that one outfit and puts it together. And that's what happened. Serato was spread all over this one gigabyte, one tenabyte hard drive. So... Basically, I had to pull it together, and once I pulled the software together, um, I liked the older models of Windows because it actually showed you what it did, and I wish I could show you because it's really cool. Um, I'm a, a old school Windows freak. Um, I've been using Windows since Windows came out with 3.5. So that's why I use Windows products. It's not, if I would have got my first Mac back then and learned Mac, I would have used Mac or I'd be using Apple. But since I've been a Windows fan, I'm, I'm a big Windows fan and I, I don't care what people say, Windows rocks. Um, Apple rocks too, but Windows just has something in my heart because I've I've worked every single software program from Windows 3.5 on up. I was I was the one on DOS when DOS was out. Type in run to get the computer to go. Type in the commands at the command prompt. So, and, and it's what they call DOS. But anyways, let's get into this program. Okay, so I, I got Serato pulled up. Let me pull it up for you. I minimized it so I can um, tell you how big the hard drive was. But the hard drive is like uh, one tenabyte, but I had like um, 800, 800 gigs of videos. So I had to delete all those videos. <laughs> 800 gigs, man. It's a lot of videos. I've been shooting my ass off. <laughs> All right, anyway, so the ride is pulled up. Let's go ahead and flip. Let me go ahead and put you up in the stand here. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way because I like it a lot better because you can see the insides and outsides of everything. So, Okay, so um, the ride is up. We're not going to go into formalities or anything like that. Um, we're just going to leave it the way it is. It's blank. It's a blank slate right now, so we're going to leave the ride blank. And then we're going to go ahead and close it. Now watch. Now, I closed it already, so it doesn't have that thing. As you can see, I finally got it to close. Right, now watch. You have to click exit twice. Click twice, and then the hourglass will show up. It takes a second for the hourglass to pull up for some reason. I don't understand it. Oh, there's the hourglass. Okay, watch it. Watch it. And bow to down and watch it go up. It takes a second for it to pull up. I, for some reason, Serato takes forever to pull up and 
angle out. And I'm gonna show you virtual DJ in a second, but watch. And I have to like, sometimes I have to click it twice. And it'll tell me, watch the sides of the, the screen. The sides of the screen will flash when, look at it, see it flash? It flashed. And then when it flashed in the background, that means it's just coming on. But it takes a, a few minutes for it to pull up. I, I don't get it. I'm running eight gigs of DDR, which is basically a little faster than, than what it says it to have. So I know it ain't that. So anyways, there it goes. All right, there it goes. Okay, so watch, watch Virtual DJ. Watch what happens when I load Virtual DJ. It takes a few seconds for it to load. What's going on? Usually it's faster than that. Usually I just click it once and it pulls up. Oh man, what's going on with it? Ah, it's already running. Okay, there we go. And then it asks me all this time, all the time, because I make sure. But it's still running, and as you can see there, I got it still in a in a crate, a YouTube crate, YouTube friendly crate. Um, we're gonna go into the video tonight on some stuff, but as you can see, that's what happens when I close Virtual DJ. It just closes right up. It doesn't give me no lip. But anyways, and that's in a nutshell, I didn't give up on Serato Steady Monos. I didn't give up on it. I'm still going to use Serato, but I'm not going to use it for gigs. I'm just going to use it for practice because it just takes too long to pull up. And and I like to have a fresh copy. Well, not technically. I like to keep it on because I was having problems pulling it up. Um, I don't get it. My hard drive, my hard drive is one terabyte. My software, oh, well, my processor is a Razon three, as an ADM. Uh, it's like a thirty thirty six hundred or something like that. It's pretty fast. So, um, and my hard drive space. I mean, not my hard drive space, but my uh, DDR is is eight gigs. So basically it can run Serato twice supposedly on it. Um, but anyways, that in a nutshell. Uh, I hope what I wanted to tell you all is, is is don't give up on your software. If if your software has some problems, fix the bugs. But the big bug for me is if you're having problems with Serato and it crashes. What my suggestion to do is, is to go into your hard drive and clean it up and optimize your hard drive. Optimize the software and it will, it will take. Now, it took approximately a minute and a half after I optimized the hard drive when I closed Serato to close it down and save all my music. So it took like a minute and 45 seconds or something like that for me to save the music. But then after that, it closed off. So um, it just takes some time. Um, there's a lot more to me switching to back to Virtual DJ than just me closing Serato. So I just want to let you all know that. It's, it's been, I've, I've been a virtual DJ fan for a long time, but I didn't think my Roland 505 would actually be supported under it. And now it's supported under it, so I'm going to start using it. All right, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go right, go right ahead and ring that bell for more notifications for videos like this and countless others. 
Go ahead and smash that like button. And peace out.